the sewing shop. Hey guys, it's Carissa from the sewing shop. We are through with our day of work, but we had a couple questions from some customers about how to use the hat hoop on the PR machines. So today we are going to go over putting the hat hoop on the machine, hooping the hat, and everything like that. Always remember if you have any extra questions, you guys can always give us a call, send us a Facebook message, anything, and we are here to help you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the hat hoop itself and first we're going to put the driver onto the machine. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to take your regular arm, you're going to take those two small screws out that are here. We're just going to loosen those and take them out completely. You don't have to do anything with the large screw that sits on the far left side of the arm. Once you have the screws out, you're just going to lift that arm up and slide it out and set it to the side. Then you're going to take the hat driver, okay? If you look, the driver has a bottom bar and it has a top bar, okay? If you look at the machine as well, you see a bottom and a top. So the bottom bar of the driver is going to sit on the bottom, little three finger bar, and then the top is going to sit obviously on the top. Okay, we're going to start by sliding the hat hoop over the arm. We're going to lift that top bar until we get it situated where the prongs come through the holes here. Okay, and once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and put in our two small screws. Once you have your two small screws tightened as tight as you can, you must remember that the bottom two large screws of the hat hoop, which are right here, you have to push them all the way back as far as you can push and then tighten them up. The reason you want to make sure you push those screws backwards is so that when your hat hoop is rotating, your two screws are going to go in alignment like this. So they're going to pass one another, okay? If you don't push it all the way back, your two screws are going to hit each other and it's going to knock your hat hoop out of alignment and it's going to mess up your hat and nobody wants that. So make sure we push those two bottom screws back all the way and tighten the screws up, okay? Then we're going to come to um, this part of your hat hoop here, which is going to be a part that does not move. It is attached to your table, attached to your stand, and the sole purpose of this piece is to hold your hat hoop still while you're putting your hat hoop on, or your hat on it, okay? So we're going to rest our hat hoop at the edge, rest it flush, and then slide all the way back until it snaps into place. We're going to lift over this lever, okay, and we're gonna grab our hat. Always make sure that every hat has a sweatband, so we wanna make sure that we lift our sweatband up and get it out of the way so we don't sew it shut, and then take your stabilizer and slide your stabilizer into your cap, okay? Same thing, we're gonna set our cap flush with the piece there and slide it back. And then the arm that we swung over just a minute ago, we're going to now bring it back over and our bill is gonna come between the two teeth here, or the two um, sides here. Come all the way across and you saw those teeth just a moment ago. Those teeth are gonna go into the seam of the hat hoop, or of the hat. Okay, and then come across and there's a latch over here. So you're gonna latch that hat on there, okay? Also, your hat hoop came with some binder clips. You may think, what are these binder clips for? We use the larger ones, but yours probably came with the small ones. But all these are for is so that you pull down the side of the cap and clip the side of the cap. You do that on both sides. And that is making sure that your hat is flush and it's smooth across the top and you don't have as much of a ripple effect, okay? Then you're going to take that hat hoop off of that stand inside of the hat, it's ready to go. And you're gonna come to the machine itself. Obviously we can't put the hat on like this because it's gonna hit with the bill. So you're gonna turn the hat to the side, slide it under, and rotate it now once your bill is past the machine here. Okay, and then you have the little roll clips here. You're gonna push against the hat hoop and it's gonna snap on there as well, okay? Once you know that you have your hat snapped onto the driver, of course, you can look now that the driver is on the machine and it signifies up here that you have your hat hoop on. 
it'll either give you a hat hoop with no number, a hat hoop with a one, or a hat hoop with a two, depending on the model of the hat hoop you have and the model machine you have. But it'll always recognize the hat hoop. Because usually it looks like this. Yes, usually it shows you all your different size hoops, whether it ranges from one by two up to an eight by 12 or an eight by 14. Okay, so once you know that it has your hat hoop here, it also, depending on the machine you have, will give you a rectangle around your design, showing you that's the given area you can work with. And of course, you can size your design, change your colors, everything like that. Another important thing to know is that right now, if you look at the design, you read it, you read it as it's on the screen, okay? But if you look at your hat, you think, I need to rotate that design because it's gonna sew out upside down on the hat. Okay, don't think that because since your machine is recognizing the hat hoop, as soon as you're done aligning it, doing everything you want, if you press edit end, it's automatically going to rotate that design for you because it knows it's a hat and it knows it doesn't want to sew it upside down. Okay, so now is of course where we're going to center it with the um, seam of the hat or of course if you have a specific design that's off to the left or right, you can do that as well. Um, but keep in mind, if you have a machine that has a built-in laser light, your laser light will not work when the hat hoop is on, okay? So an easy way for you to determine if you're in the middle is to press lock and scissors, and it's going to put that needle down and show you if you're in the middle of the hat or not. If you aren't, you can move it left or right. We're pretty close to the middle, so we're going to leave it just like that. Um, but we also want to run our trial, and when we run our trial, it's of course going to follow the design on the hat, but we want to just make sure that the bill is not hitting the back of the machine to where it's grinding or making a noise to where it's going to pop the hat hoop off of your machine. Let's okay. run it one more time. So run it one more time. Perfect. We'll run it one more time and you'll pay attention right here and you'll see that hat that it's not going to rub too hard against that part of the machine to where it's going to pop off. And when doing your design, you want to make the design so from the inside out yes exactly so when you have a design this one for instance we are going to want it to sew the e first and then the s and then the w the reason we want it to sew from the center out is so that if there is any excess material and it, if it sews left to right or right to left it's going to cause a big ripple towards one side but if you do the center out it pushes the ripple out of the embroidery area and that's typically done in a software. Yes, that is typically done in a software. Um, and then once you're done with your centering and everything like that, everything else is the same. You go to embroidery, and then you change your colors on your screen, select the right needle, press lock, and hit start. And then you're ready to go. Make sure, once again, that you, on your doing hats, you do it center out. You make sure that you have those bottom screws pushed all the way back and tightened completely. And then, of course, make sure you don't have all the excess material in the center of your hat as well. And you want to make sure you're not sewing the hat together, obviously. <laughs> Absolutely. But just always check. <laughs> <laughs> but we always like to answer any of you guys' questions. So if you have any, give us a call. Um, contact us on Facebook, email, anything like that. We also have a big event coming up, the Floriani event. Um, which we still have open seats for. So if you're interested in that, absolutely give us a call and we'll get you signed up. And then um, we, of course, have regular classes and one-on-one -on -one classes as well. So um, we would love to hear from you guys. Just giving you a little run through of how it's attached. And when you take it off, when it's all said and done, how does it come off? Okay, Just when it's all, yeah, absolutely. Whenever you're done with the embroidery, you put your... I always put my thumbs on the small tab and my fingers on the larger tabs here and then push against each other. Once again, to get it off, you want to rotate the hat bill to the side and then just slide it off and it's off of the machine. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. But if you do have any questions or you are more of a hands-on learner, we can also show you how to do this in store. So you can just stop by and we can also walk you through in store hands-on lets you hoop the hat and we'll watch you and make sure you're doing everything correctly as well so